we got this 1990 Bronco and we're going ahead and checking ignition timing on it. The distributor's been taken out by the previous owner and just working through it and making sure everything's set up right. So it was sitting at 15 degrees of initial timing, which is a little different than what the computer is expecting to see. So it's getting a little um, pinging at low RPM and high load. So anyway, taking a look at it here. It's kind of the process to set ignition timing on these. So uh, how you kind of set the timing is you want to make sure your engine's fully warmed up and down to its idle RPM. So um, once it's warmed up and down to this, you can go ahead and shut the engine off. You're going to hook up your timing light. And I do have a video that I'll link in the description below of how to use the timing light. So anyway, we're hooked on to uh, spark plug wire number one. You know, you're going to aim this down at your crank. And it's going to flash and it's going to show you, um, you know, how many degrees in advance you're set at. Now on the Ford, rotating the distributor clockwise, advance the timing. Uh, rotating counterclockwise, retards the timing. So anyway, what you're looking for on this particular uh, the EFI setup in the trucks, it's looking for about uh, 10 degrees of initial timing, 10 to 12. And I always like to shoot somewhere in the middle because this cap actually moves around um, on the Ford distributor a little bit. And that'll give you a you know one to two degree timing play. So if you land somewhere in the middle, you're usually all right. But anyway, you want to shut the truck down, and then you're going to remove this little piece. And this uh, disables the computer from advancing the ignition timing. So then you can set your initial timing. Because normally it idles around 20 or so degrees of timing the computer's pulling in. So um, anyway, it's located right off the distributor here on most trucks. So you want to remove this. And then once this is removed, you can go ahead and fire your vehicle up. And then you're going to set your ignition timing. So again, you know, we have it all set up for that gone through and done that we're sitting at about 11 degrees of initial timing so anyway I'm going to shut the truck down we're going to put this back in and then we should we'll fire it up and it'll should run uh, just perfect so um, anyway and if you experience some interesting running characteristics of the engine at this time you have to remember that uh, when it when this is in the engine's idling it's usually at 20 degrees of initial timing or so so um, it's going to run a little different it's not how it normally runs with this out so, anyway, we're going to shut it down, we'll put this back in, we should be good to go. You never want to plug this in with the engine running, uh, you can cause computer issues and just throw it through quite a loop. So, uh, anyway, pretty simple and straightforward to do. I also forgot to mention that to do this, you have to loosen the distributor hold down nut. So, once you're all done setting your timing, again, you want to loosen that with the engine off because um, you know, you can get your hand into the fan and that's a pretty messy deal. So anyway, to be able to advance and retard the distributor, you have to have that loose. You don't want to take it all the way out, just loosen up the distributor can rotate. So anyway, we got the engine shut down. Um, we got that tightened back up. Got our computer leg hooked back in, so should be good to go. Should fire right off and run good. All right, here we are in the Roncho. Fuel pump primed. Light right off. The computer is going to adjust and everything for the timing, and we should be good to go. It'll drop idle in a few seconds. All right, we're idled down good. Still on choke cycle a little bit from being cold, but got way better throttle response. It was super laggy before, so our ignition timing's good.